the word retirement, one word could come to mind, and that would be travel. Most senior citizens take advantage of their retirement to enjoy life by making stops in different parts of the world. However, one local citizen is traveling all over the city in an effort to preserve Coral Gables landmarks. Leona Ferguson Cooper has been passionate about her community for more than 20 years. She left her native country of the Bahamas in the late 40s. The 77-year-old microbiologist knew Coral Gables was a haven as soon as she stepped foot on the city beautiful. I found it very um, comfortable, let's say that. I felt at home. Uh, everybody knows everybody. Cooper is a product of South Florida. She attended one of the oldest schools in Miami, Booker T. Washington High School. She also studied medical technology at a local hospital. She married William Cooper, who was born and raised in the Golden Gates community. She credits him for introducing her to community activism. He was born here in this community. Actually, this is his actual birthplace across the street from where we are now. And going through so many changes socially and educationally in this community, the school next door, which is George Washington Carver, was beginning to um, uh, not have such a great um, enrollment. Most of the people, because of integration, started going to integrated schools like Coral Gables uh, High and Ponce and the others. Cooper searches through old photographs, reminding her of her time in Coral Gables where she worked. She was a microbiologist at the Veterans Administration Hospital, which was once housed at the historic Biltmore Hotel. Her community work started by supporting her husband's endeavor, who wanted to designate his alma mater into a historical landmark. My husband's idea was in order to preserve that building so it didn't become a place where you would um, use for rehabbing maybe people who are offenders of some sort would be to uh, have it declared historical. The school itself is historic. City founder George Merrick helped design the school. Cooper recalls the first day when William and she spearheaded the effort. A fire in the Golden Gates neighborhood was caused by the water mains that weren't up to par with the city code. Needless to say, she confronted the mayor along with William and called for a meeting with department heads. She asked that the area get more visibility. But he was very determined that this community was not going to be different than any other community in the city of Coral Gables. After the meeting, the city had its first African-American code enforcement official. She doesn't take full credit for the change in the area. Well, this community was developed, I would, I would say, by the entire community. This community, uh, it, it, if you know anything about black communities back in the day, everybody was a part of the community. Even though Cooper is retired, she remains active. Cooper serves on the Lola B. Walker Homeowners Association. Congratulations to Leona Ferguson Cooper for being Golden Pride for this edition of Golden Gables. Golden Fact A recent survey by the Entertainment Software Association found that 19% of video gamers are 50 or older, up from 9% in 1999. We all know that regular exercise and a healthy diet helps to keep us full of life, yet keeping your mind sharp can be a challenge. However, there are fun ways to keep your brain up to par with the rest of your body. Dr. Eugenio Roth explains. The brain functions very much like a muscle. You have to exercise it every day to keep it going. And if you don't exercise it every day like a muscle, it will atrophy. A simple way of keeping your mind lively is to play visual recollection games such as flashcards and tile matching. These are some of the games suggested to be beneficial to your mind. Even though these games are usually played by children, they are easy methods of keeping your memory skills sharp and your brain healthy. You can play these games with family and friends, which may make it an even more enjoyable undertaking and 
also doubles as a useful time-passing activity. Some exercises that can be very helpful is doing crossword puzzles, playing games like Scrabble, reading the newspaper, but more so maintaining a socially active life with connections with other people, keeping conversations uh, interested and alive. If you prefer a more interactive approach, give video games a try. Believe it or not, there are plenty of easy-to-use video game devices that allow you an array of different games and puzzles that can keep your mind active. Contrary to what many believe, they are easy to use. Most gaming systems have less buttons than your television's remote control. Researchers at the University of Illinois say that using video games promotes better use of your ability to switch between tasks, sharpens your short-term visual memory, improves your reasoning skills, and enhances your working memory. This ability to hold two or more pieces of information in memory and use the information as needed is very important. Dr. Roth suggests that seniors should take on new activities. Create new projects for themselves, reinvent themselves, find new hobbies, new interests, especially things that keep the brain learning new information because when the brain is busy learning new information, it's regenerating new cells and new connections between the cells that maintain the brain active and uh, interested. Completing puzzles and playing games that are beneficial to the mind are among some of the activities that are said to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease and dementia.